Hey, Steve. I want to say it was a week or two after the, the trade for James. You talked about how you guys were trying to reestablish your depth and see what you have there. And, and with the way Landry's playing now, DJ and Jeff switch off, uh, Tyler, TLC, just where, where do you feel that is now, given how those guys are playing lately? They've all, you know, really played well. So it's, it, it, it makes our depth look a lot better. Um, second unit's been producing, uh, you know, holding or extending leads. So, you know, I'm proud of all those guys for hanging in there, for finding their rhythm and their form and, and gaining a little connectivity out there. It's really important to have a second unit in this league. And uh, our guys have really stepped up here lately. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Coach, you, you've often said that this team doesn't have the makeup to be, I guess, elite defensively. But you guys have consistently now, and this is five straight solid defensive performances. So what does it just say for an offensive team to start buying in consistently on the defensive end? You know, it's it's um, it's a non-negotiable if we want to reach our best level. So we have to buy in. We have to you know, understand what we're trying to do and what our principles are, uh, make clean reads and decisions, and play together down there. So uh, guys have have, you know, improved, turned a corner, however you want to put it at the defensive end, where at least now we are cleaner with our decision-making, uh, our connections with one another, and, and are starting to have little stretches in the game where our defense is strong. We'll go to Malika Andrews, ESPN. Steve, the small line, lineup you started the game with, you also had some success closing against Phoenix with. What have you learned about the, the potential of that lineup and how you could potentially move, use it moving forward over these last two games? Yeah, I mean, uh, we, I think the small lineup has been our closing lineup. All well, the small lineup is our closing lineup. You know, I think it gives us a lot of space on the floor for our – guys to operate um, we can also be pretty versatile defensively so you know I think they're gaining a confidence and understanding that lineup but all of our combinations have to improve and keep refining keep getting better because we know the type of teams we're going to face at the end of the road and, and what that's going to look like so lots of improvement but the small lineup is something that we feel confident in. Thank you. Welcome. Chris Beck NBC New York. Hey, Steve, uh, they say road trips can sometimes galvanize a team. Uh, how would you describe this one in terms of unity, camaraderie, teamwork, and overall performance? Well, the performances have been really solid, so really, really proud of the guys uh, for their continued improvement and, and, you know, really just concentration, like coming to, to try to get better every day. Um, you know, it would be, it'd be ideal if these guys are bonding as well. You know, it's such a weird season. Um, a word world, frankly, for people to socialize. And, um, you know, for me as a, as a former player, I think it's really important that these guys gain a, a deeper understanding and appreciation for one another that allows them to enjoy what they do and to feel a sense of caring for one another so that, you know, you see that in performances. So hopefully this trip is more than just a, a good record and some wins and we can continue to perform and grow and also come together. We'll go back to Christian Winfield with the Daily News. Coach, does, does this game have the we just beat the defending champs feel, given that, you know, you guys don't have KD, they don't have AD, you know, they don't have Dennis, you don't have Spencer, all these pieces moving, but you still were able to come away with a victory. Does it Does it have that kind of feel to it at all? You know, I don't think we're getting too carried away. You know, it's, uh, you know, two teams that didn't have full rosters. Um, you know, I think we, we played a solid game and got a good win on the road, but no, we're not getting carried away. It's super early. We got a lot to grow and to develop into, and it's just a little milestone for us to take another step. Last question. We'll go back to Alex Schiffer. Kind of just touched on it there, Steve, but do you look at that Detroit game last week kind of as a, as a turning point or a wake-up call, just given how you guys have played since then, or is it too early to be talking like that? Yeah, I think it is too early, but it, and I'm not thinking about the Detroit game. Having said that, you know, that was a low for us, and it did provoke some conversations, and and, uh, you know, kind of a rededication to what we're trying to do. So um, I, I'm proud of the way they've responded since then. Obviously, we, we've, we've taken care of business. But more than the wins and losses, you know, I try to keep messaging, messaging the guys that, you know, it's about win or lose. Are we getting better? Are we heading in the right direction? Are we learning? Are we progressing without a training camp with a new group? It's just really important that we take every day as an opportunity to get better regardless of the results. But uh, it also tastes sweet when you uh, go out west and win some games. Thanks for your time, Coach. Thanks. Thanks. Bye, guys.